Alright Capones, I'm pretty excited, I'm T-Bone in the HQ, and we're doing UFC 2, and we're doing the fighter. Now you guys on Twitter selected me, you wanted me to create myself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of create myself in the Capones image, so to speak, alright, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So right now I've got the career screen up, let me hit record and capture on this beautiful El Gato, alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to start a brand new career. Takes a bit to load up, but don't let that bother you. Now there's music playing in the background here. I'm probably going to be playing my own music in the background just so I don't have copyright issues, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go into the general info of the fighter, and we're going to name him T-Bone. Okay, because that's what you guys wanted. And Capone. By the way, just to let you guys know, the Elite Controller, I like it. I like the D-pad. The D-pad runs much smoother. Um, it's heavier, and I like a heavier controller. I don't know why. Um, I did take the paddles off because I haven't used it for Call of Duty yet, but I plan on it. I know that there was some people asking me about Call of Duty. Let's pick a nickname real quick. Um, let's go with Bad Intentions because that's what we have. And you know where we're going to fight out of? And I'm pretty sure they have it preloaded, but because... I have a good almost 80% of my viewers from overseas. We're just going. Should we go Dublin? We'll go Dublin. No, you know what? We'll go here. We'll go right here, and we're going to be a young phenom. We're not even going to be old enough to drink yet. But, okay, we're going to go to the light heavyweight class. And the reason why I like the light heavyweight class is for me and the UFC. Um, and I know the UFC isn't MMA, I know there's Bellator, but the light heavyweight class, the 205 pound class, a lot of times they have to cut their own weight to get down to that class, which is which is cool because that means they're still, they're constantly training to drop the weight and all that. But it makes them, in my opinion, very, very athletic, yet they still have the same power, close to the same power as the heavyweight division. You know what I'm saying? Heavyweights can kind of go in there. I don't know if you saw Frank Mir in his last fight. And Frank Mir's a legend of the game. I'm not slamming Frank Mir, but he was soft. And you can be soft because you have a range of 206 pounds to 265 pounds, okay? When you're at the 205 class, and no, most of those guys are over 6 foot, good over 6 foot, 6 foot 2 and higher usually, they're cutting weight, they're cutting down, right? They're getting ripped, they're in the gym. So they've got a little bit of stamina, a little bit of cardio, right? They're fit, they're agile, but they're still powerful, and I love that. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go 6 foot and we're going to go orthodox, that is our style. Oh, no, I just hit Southpaw. All right, so <clears throat> that's where we are there. As far as appearance, we're going to go with the preset, all right? And I'm going to try to, you know what? That look right there says it all. Boom. Let's just go with that preset. What do you guys think? Got a little bit of ink? I've got ink. Let's do that. Um, I would try, like right here, I actually have a game face loaded up through EA Sports, but for whatever reason, every time I try to download it, I get this error right here. Your download is filled. I don't know why. But it doesn't matter. We got that all set. Um, so let's go down to fight gear because that's very important. Bottoms. Long board shorts. Yeah, I usually probably do long board shorts. Um, yeah, I don't want those nut huggers. So we'll just go long board, uh, long board shorts. Mouth guard. Let's see. Do they have an Irish one? <laughs> yeah, of course they fucking do. Right there, right? That's what we're... Yeah, there we go. Accessories. Uh, I would probably have my ankles uh, taped up. Uh -huh. Let's just do that. I like that look anyway. A little badass. Okay. Style. Um, walkout music. We have a choice. Oh, DMX, right? Ain't no sunshine. Okay. We're going to go with that. My personality is going to... You know, <clears throat> You know I love the Dutch, right? There we go. We're going to go with Alistair Overeem's personality. Taunt style. I don't think you need to taunt. Once you're in the ring, you're kind of you're kind of there. So we'll go right there. Skills. Attributes. I don't know if you can change those. Doesn't look like you can. Um, so we'll leave those as is. And then we'll save and we'll exit. Yes. So there we go. Now, from what I, <clears throat> from what I understand, 
what we'll do now is we'll do a fight okay I think I can do some training and whatnot but we'll do a fight and we're gonna go into uh, hopefully into the house because you get to a chance to go into the ultimate fighter reality show I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. it's pretty cool so we'll do that and I'll show you um, what we need to do the only thing is I'm a little confused because I went in here and messed with this before and it gives you a chance to train but I don't understand how you get points for that and I'll show you what I mean or at least the ability to spend points for that um, it's just a big old uh, video so team Rousey versus team Tate that's uh, the ultimate fighter reality show right there we're gonna fight to get into the house um, we can go right to the fight or we can do stand-up challenges and I'll show you what I mean we'll do quick strike right here um, easy and it's just giving us, you know, reaction time on whatever. <clears throat> Sorry for the loud sounds in the background. My wife knows I'm filming, but she decides that she's going to just bang some shit in there. Actually, she's uh, marinating some meat so we can have uh, steak tacos. Homemade steak tacos. What's up? What you got on that? Alright, so I must have rocked that out. Or I didn't. I got a B. So I got 1874. Now I don't know. It tells me. It gives me the option to advance, right? I don't want to try again. I'm good with this. So I'm assuming we just return to the challenge mode, right? I mean. So we. But I don't know where those points go. You see what I'm saying? Like there's no. Anyway, we'll just get right to the fight. Um, whatever happens, happens. It doesn't count against my career mode as far as whether I win or lose this fight but if I win it gives me a, a steam steam line or straight line into the UFC or at least a chance at that so here comes this guy he's looking like a Chuck Liddell wannabe and then there's me looking like a badass representing the Capones touch gloves I don't mind touching gloves all right I just want to knock the mohawk off him He's not really doing anything. I think he's more of a counter guy. Whoa. Try to knock the damn mohawk off him for sure with that one. Yeah, he got me good. He fucking rocked me. Oh, I got him good there. You can see there's a lot of action, but there's a lot of technical aspects that go into that, man. And it's not its not your Mike Tyson's punch out, but unfortunately, I mean, I like the excitement of that, but you got to get used to all the controls and all that. How many times do I have to kick him in the fucking mohawk for it to... Fifty seconds left, I don't know. The guy's face is bloodied up, but uh, he's hit me too much.
Oh yeah, rocked him. Ah, uh, I I'll, I'll hope that counts as a knockdown. If that counted as a knockdown, that's definitely a 10-9 round in my favor. But we'll see. You never know. They always say don't leave it to the judges. Yeah, I'll touch your glove, buddy. God bless America. many hits this guy could take to the dome. Shit is red. Z Walsh, he's online, you know who that is. Luke, the official artist of the T Bone Capone channel. Haha. <laughs> There's no way his face is jacked up. Oh, you got me good there. How many hits can that dude take? Come on, get your ass down. Oh my lord. I had to have got that right. I had to have gotten in the house with that. There's no way. Ah, kidney kick. Face only a mother could love. Come on. Come on. I don't even know how that happened when I knocked him down in the first round. So that right there should be a 10-8 round or at a minimum a 10-9 round I don't get it whatever so basically we'll continue it doesn't go as a loss in my career record but I don't get it I don't get it at all so let me know let me know if you guys know about that training let me know if I'm supposed to be doing something to where I can apply those points because you should be earning points by doing the training thing but I'll show you so here's our gym hub right and here's our fighter. That's where I'll go do those skill challenges like I just did. Um, but you can go into your fighter and you can actually look at some pretty cool stuff. Um, actually, uh, so here's your career stats, all right? Obviously, that wasn't a loss. There's our record. There's our fans. We're going to try to gain some fans, right? Some more Capones, if you will. Um, and it's going to give and basically give you the analytics of your character, of your fighter. And it's going to give you your wins, your losses, all that good stuff and how you did that. So we'll see with that. But there we go. There's our fighter. We didn't make it in the Ultimate Fighter Reality House. So we're going to have to do this the hard way and work our way up. And that's what we're going to do.
because that's what Capones do. All right? Hey, until next time, T-Bone out.